Hey guys, welcome back to Simple Wash Builds. Today I want to take a little time to talk about the differences between 3D printers and which one maybe you should buy. Okay, so first thing you need to know is there are two major types of 3D printers on the market today. There's your traditional FDM printer, which uses a plastic filament and it gets melted down and laid it down on layers to, to build up the print. And then there's your SLA resin 3D printers that use UV light and a screen to basically control the way that the UV light hits the resin and the resin is cured by that light. Um, I have an example of both here. I have a Creality CR10S, which is a FDM printer with a pretty large build volume and I have an Elgu Mars SLA printer that uses resin to print. The differences between these things are pretty drastic. Um, at the end of the day, it really, it's really dependent on what you want to do and what kind of things you want to print. So if you're looking to print large things, you know, high, high build volume, cosplay, armor, weapons, stuff like that, you're probably going to need an FDM printer. The build volume is just not there on the SLA printers yet. Um, they are working on that, but um, things you know that are that are large that you're going to want to be able to print in one go, such as this, such as a full size helmet. The Creality CR10 is a is a really good printer. Um, I've had this one for about a year and a half now, and I've printed tons of stuff with it. Uh, I'll show you some of my pieces later, so you can get an idea of the kind of work that you can get off of this thing. FDM printers use a plastic filament like I said this is the filament and my spool up here at the top is a one kilogram spool you can buy this stuff on Amazon you can buy it on eBay there's tons of different manufacturers this is Hatchbox I believe which is a pretty common one um, they're about twenty dollars a roll and a roll of plastic will get you a full-size helmet and maybe a few little small pieces so to give you an idea of how much you can actually get out of a roll a lot of it depends on your support material, how you, how you cut your files and everything else. But um, this machine here has been really great. If you're looking for an FDM printer, I highly recommend the Creality series. Their printers are really good and it makes really, really nice prints. Okay guys, so here I have my Blade Runner binos from the new Blade Runner movie. Um, this was all printed on the CR10. Detail on this guy's pretty, pretty great. Um, turned out really nice the paint job turned out really nice but as you can see it's got a lot of really fine details and all of this was accomplished with an FDM printer so it just takes a little longer to do the filing and the sanding and everything else but it turns out really good with FDM printers especially the CR10 you're able to accomplish some really large scale stuff so this is a life-size Yandu skull with the fin on it um, this was done on my FDM, print, FDM printer the fin is actually magnetized so you can remove it on and off, um, which is pretty neat. So the fin can actually come off of it and magnetize back down on it. So that was done also with an FDM printer. Here we have uh, another Blade Runner piece. This is my pistol um, that the main character in Blade Runner uses. Um, there's a lot of stuff on this pistol by Tested and Adam Savage. He's made a few of them. So this was also printed on an FDM printer. And as you can see, it turned out really nice. A lot of you guys have already seen this piece here, but this is one of my latest uh, FDM 3D prints. This is a Halo Needler. Um, this is completely done with uh, the CR10 printer. The only thing on here that is not is the needles themselves. They were print printed from clear resin on my Elgu Mars. So this guy turned out really good. As you can tell here, I've got a collection of helmets that have all been printed on the FDM printer. And so there's a lot of really cool stuff you can do with an FDM printer. So on the Elgu Mars, you're using a liquid resin. Uh, this is the common size container. I think it's 500 milliliters or 500 grams. Um, this can get you quite a, quite a bit of prints depending on how you do support, how thick you make the shell of the print, and, and so on and so forth. The prints have to be cleaned and, and basically cured with UV light. So what I do is I have an external UV light that I shine on my prints and rotate them and let that light cure those prints. Um, there's a lot more 
post-processing and cleaning that has to happen on your prints when they come off of this versus the, versus the plastic printer, obviously. And there's, there's certain safety precautions that you need to take when dealing with the SLA printer. The resin, you know, it, it does have a, a pretty strong smell. You don't want it on your hands, so you have to use gloves. So the cleanliness on the SLA is kind of a big deal, and it is a, it is a pain. So if you're if you're not looking to deal with any of that kind of stuff, then the plastic is probably the way to go. FDM printing is probably the way to go. Now, when you compare the two in detail, there is no comparison. the The SLA printer is going to beat that FDM printer every day of the week. This this thing just puts out some awesome detail, and I'm going to show you that as well on some pieces that I've printed. So. It really depends on what you want to do. If you're looking to make miniatures or tabletop game characters, then you're probably going to be just fine with an SLA printer. And airbrushing these guys and, and painting them is really nice. The detail is awesome. If you're looking to make cosplay, large weapon scale stuff, you're probably going to lean towards an FDM printer. And hopefully, you know, either way you go, you're going to enjoy it. But uh, hopefully today I can show you a little bit and it'll help you make a better decision. So here, guys, is a Venom skull that I printed. Um, it's got a three, it's a three-piece part with teeth, the tongue, and the base being all separate. As you can see, the detail on this guy is just, it's awesome. So it, this printer's capable of doing some pretty amazing things uh, when it comes to printing small, small pieces. I'll, uh, I'll see if I can get a closer shot for you guys to get more of the detail in it. So here you can really see a lot better the extreme amount of detail that uh, that this th that this 3D printer will put out. I mean, it's just amazing. The teeth on this thing came out awesome, and the support material is just so easy to remove. Here's another Spider-Man Venom bust that I printed on on this printer. Um, quality came out great. Um, the like I said, same as the other one. The the printer just puts out some awesome stuff. All right, guys, that's all I wanted to cover today. Hopefully you learned something new and maybe I helped you make a decision on whether or not you want to go with an FDM or an SLA printer. Uh, they're both great options. And to be honest, anything that can get you in the hobby is going to be just awesome. You're going to you're going to have a blast with either one. So uh, until next time, you guys have fun, like subscribe, do all that stuff. Talk to you later.